thing is, you get older, you realise you've got to just paint for who you are. And you're painting for you, not for anybody else. Yeah. And you get better at knowing who you are by then as well. You're not pretending to be anyone else. You know your, fault, your strengths and weaknesses and you know what, what you want to paint about for yourself. Yeah. And I think you become truer. The first time that I was really blown away by your work was in 2015 in the Archibald when with that portrait of Daniel Johns. And I think it was partly because of your amazing use of oil paint, um, which you're well known for. I think by then I'd, I'd made a decision, all right, I'm going to try and let's see how thin I can paint what uh, oils. And I was pushing and I was trying to paint with a lot more medium and letting it run more. And then I started coming up with a way of as I put each mark down, you get other brushes and take even more off. And a lot more use of rags and a lot more reductive. Even on a small passage, I will paint it and then I've got about a minute or two to take even more off before it dries and, it, and then I can't touch it again. And it, so it, it keeps the energy in the surface, which is good for me. It was really good for me because I just overwork everything otherwise <laughs> and kill it. I killed every goddamn painting, you know? And then this, this is a way of, of painting and once it becomes tacky, if I touch it, it all comes off and looks, it's, it's, it's ruined. So you get, you get chances to hit it and let it dribble and let some beautiful stuff happen. And then it's, it's a really good technique for my personality because it stops me from, you know, that kind of like touch, touch, touch. And like maybe I'll try that, maybe I'll try that. There's no energy then in the surface or in the mark making. A landscape is actually one of the nicest genres to work in because there's so much scope for abstraction in it, you know, way more than still life, way more than portraits. And I've always loved that idea of what does, what, what is that space between us, that in between and how we connect, how am I connected to you, how am I connected to people I've never met, how am I connected to um, nature, ocean and trees, you know, there is that what is that thing um, in between all of us? I've heard you say that you're you're unashamedly romantic about these paintings. Oh yeah, now I just own it. I'm like, since I've had kids, I'm like, fuck it. I'm making paintings that are incredibly beautiful. But I think love is the sharpest tool in the box to make any change or to make someone think differently. You know, you can scream at someone all you want, but normally it just sends them away. You know, love is a really powerful um, tool.